I'm Tim Tompkins, president of the Times Square Alliance. We co-produce the New Year's Eve event with Countdown Entertainment in Jamestown. And uh, we're here to welcome you for one of the key moments. It's the countdown to the end of 2020, a year which we're all very grateful and very happy to say goodbye to. Um, 2020 has been a very different year, of course, for the world. And so the New Year's Eve celebration for 2021 will be different in a number of key ways. It will be similar in some ways in terms of uh, amazing live entertainment broadcast to the world, but what's going to be different? There's a few things. First of all, these numerals behind me, thanks to the sponsor Kia, have traveled across the country, giving people in 15 states and throughout the country a sense of hope that 2021 is just around the corner as we... as we go through the latter parts of 2020. Second of all, there will be a live broadcast event in Times Square, but there will not be a public audience. It will simply be a broadcast stage for the entire world to see amazing talent ranging from J. Lo to Billy Porter to Gloria Gaynor who will sing, I will survive and will also say, go on now, walk out that door, just turn around now, you're not welcome anymore, which I think is the way We all feel about 2020 um, and that will be broadcast live the only people that will be there besides the performers will be about 40 people who are our invited special guests normally there's uh, one or two or a handful of honored guests this year it's 40 ordinary people who through their creativity and courage have helped us to get through 2020 whether it's a food delivery person someone that, who's been working in a scientific way for a vaccine uh, a nurse or a healthcare worker um, or a transit worker or an artist or activist who gave us some hope as we traveled through this difficult year. Those will be the only people and they'll be in separated pens, about 40 pens, uh, and everyone will be tested and follow all the necessary protocols. The other thing that is really different about this year is that because people cannot come to Times Square, Times Square is coming to your living room and to you virtually through the work of Jamestown and Countdown and a whole bunch of amazingly creative people, there's a new New Year's Eve app, and I've been actually playing around with it since I downloaded it this weekend. It's amazing. It's going to allow you to create your own avatar and to experience Times Square and New Year's Eve virtually, create some of your own camera angles, see the live entertainment as well, but also experience it virtually and with augmented reality. It's a new People. There's a new New Year's Eve app, and I've been actually playing around with it since I downloaded it this weekend. It's amazing. It's going to allow you to create your own avatar and to experience Times Square and New Year's Eve virtually, create some of your own camera angles, see the live entertainment as well, but also experience it virtually and with augmented reality. It's a new virtual experience that will bring us a new generation of people to watch and experience New Year's Eve, in addition to the people that will be watching the television and other broadcasts. So to talk about that last element before Jeff talks about the Kia traveling throughout uh, the U.S. is Michael Phillips, the president of Jamestown uh, and CEO of Jamestown, which has created this amazing app for the world. Thank you, Tim. Um, so for all of us, we, 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 we came together in the last six months to figure out 
how can we invite people into Times Square but allow safe social distancing way to celebrate? With our partners, with our, our key sponsor, Kia, and all the sponsors in the app, as well as Times Square Alliance and Countdown Entertainment and the City of New York, we have launched this app, Virtual New Year's Eve and the New Year's Eve app. It's available in all the app stores. We encourage everyone to download it and to play around with it in advance. You'll be able to create an avatar. You'll be able to go to the concerts, to, to engage with the countdown around the world. And with a little bit of luck, our friends at NASA may allow us to take time with them with their cameras from the, from the space station. So with that, I'm going to hand it over to uh, Jeff Strauss and to talk a little bit about 2021. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, Tim. Hello, everybody, and welcome. 2021 has arrived today here in Times Square. Our thanks to Kia Motors America, who brought these numerals through 15 states, over 5,000 miles, with people cheering as the numerals drove by. It was an amazing sight to see. There's pictures from all from, from Nevada and California and Texas and Florida and Alabama and Virginia, New Jersey, New York. Everyone excited to be able to participate in counting down to 2021. Thanks to Kia and our Kia drivers who took that long journey with us. Guys, can you come out and just wave, say hello? Thank you guys so much. Let's hear it for Kia. Appreciate it. Will you guys help me light these guys up? Yep. Okay, everybody, need your help. Tim, Michael, let's get out of here. Guys, if you can count down with me, we're going to do a five-second countdown, and one by one, those numerals are going to light up, and we're going to cheer on 2021. It's finally here. Finally here. Is everybody ready? Yeah. Woo! Tim. Guys, yeah, here we go. Thank you, man. Five, four, three, two, one. Light them up. Let's see 2021 here. It's here. Thank you, 2021. Thank you, Kia. Yeah.